Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm back with a very special video. My first ever re-reviewing of a box set in my collection. And uh, the reason why I'm reviewing this, even though I've talked about it before, is that uh, this has been incomplete for so many years. I've had it in my collection uh, since a long time, but it's never been complete until now because I just recently managed to find the last missing part of this box set. For those of you who don't know what this is, I'm just gonna try to explain it as easily as I can. Obviously the movie is my North Report and this is a special sort of FYC for your consideration release. They send these out to people who judge movie awards like uh, the Academy Awards, the Emmy Awards, that kind of stuff for TV. This was actually sent to members of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the HFPA. This was actually for the Golden Globes. As for limitation, I believe that this is actually limited to around 93 copies. And if you want to know more about this release, check the link in the video description to go to my official website. So. Uh, it's been called the aluminum tech case version, it's been called the screening edition attaché case. But here's what it looks like. We do have a very good looking uh, aluminum, or at least partially aluminum. I'm guessing, you know, some of the parts, like this on the end there, uh, is sort of, you know, silvery type plastic. Well, you know, like for instance, these parts on the end. That is definitely aluminum because it feels very cold in comparison to the other parts. And I really like the little logo here. It's a very nice sort of black plastic with these metal letters embossed into it. And as for the uh, little copyright notice there, that is copyright uh, TCF and DW, uh, which would be uh, 20th Century Fox and DreamWorks. Just turn this over, take a look at the back. It's actually all blank, there's really nothing there. And it's just the downside of it. Got little hinges on it. Basically look the same all around the edges. Got the black corners and stuff. Here is the locks. You'll notice the little logo there, which says TZ. And that is actually a logo for the company TCKs International, I think they're called. We got two locks, which uh, there is keys included, but you don't really need it. Because you can actually turn it and sort of lock it. Uh, just by twisting this. So you can do that with your fingernails or you can do it with a tool. Here is just, you know, a handle. And the handle is actually plastic, even though it looks, you know, pretty classy. It is a plastic handle. So to open, we just take these two buttons and slide them to the side. So there you go. Now I'm gonna lay this down. It doesn't really pop open, there's no pop open effect, but it is actually quite a tight fit, so you will soon realize uh, why it sort of almost pops open. So this is the contents and I'm gonna begin by taking everything out. Uh, here are the two keys which as you can tell you know it's really not a lot of a, much of a key it's like you can just as easily use a, like a paper clip or something. It's really just a helping hand to you know keep you from trying to do that with your fingers even though you can so. As far as security goes the keys are pointless and you don't really need them. And I can imagine that this really catches your eye because that is definitely the centerpiece of this release. But first up, just showing you quickly, this is the interior of the case with this soft foam padding. We do have the hinges here on the interior and there's a whole bunch of glue residue from the sort of uh, edges here where the foam padding is. It's basically just a foam padding piece uh, which is sort of glued down and as you can tell uh, you've got like that sort of typical uh, wooden board base of it and then you got some metal parts. So it's, it's a pretty typical attaché case. The logo was actually branded on afterwards. So this is not an original uh, TC case production. They basically just made the case and then 20th Century Fox or whoever branded it with the uh, Minor Report logo for the presentation so to speak. That's it for the attaché case. Moving on to the Minority Report tin aka the medallion or the tin canister, tin case. I don't know, whatever you call it, this is the fucking shit. I mean during all my years of collecting this is my all-time favorite case. You know, highly valuable, extreme quality. I have never seen a case like this. As can, you know, looking at this, 
you'll probably notice that this is a fucking heavy item. Uh, I actually have a, a you know a scale right on the side here uh, and can tell you that it weighs approximately 920 grams. So it's uh, it's very close to weighing one kilo, which uh, is a very impressive weight uh, for a metal case of this size. I mean it's basically the size of a portable CD player or something. It's made by a company called MKTI uh, and they usually manufacture like machinery parts and they did this special case. You can tell that this is not made by a company that makes DVD cases. You can really tell. You got this secondary layer uh, which is also metal and I mean the the detail and the mold on this is just I mean, ugh, it's like you could come all over the screen by now if you're a collector. I mean, this is uh, the 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 embossing and the embedding. It's just, it's fucking awesome. And you could, this is like the one case I own that would s seriously survive a nuclear blast. I mean, you know, if my house burned down and my collection was destroyed, this would be in the ashes and it would just be dirty. It wouldn't be destroyed. But anyway. Now I'm gonna just open it, which is done really easily, and you just simply grab the bottom, you grab the top, and you just twist it. So doing that a few times, you will eventually notice that the lid comes loose. And this is a very, very simple construct, but at the same time it's just so ingenious. You basically just have like a screw uh, in the center here, and that basically fits in with like a opposing whatever it is that you use to put the screws in there like the lug nut or something which is machined out of the tin I don't know how you'd explain it but yeah you, you sort of see what it looks like so anyway inside then we have one disc and as you can tell you know here is the bottom part of the case uh, which basically has a screw in the middle and then you have a sort of a small rubber uh, ring here, but as for the disc as you can tell here we do have a special screening copy May not be sold rented or copied property of 20th century Fox Corporation, etc And just moving in on the fine print here um, Sorry to keep having my reflection of me and my camera Hello, but uh, that's just the way it is So here you can read the fine print. I don't know just pause it and read it. I don't have all day. Then we got DreamWorks, 20th Century Fox, Minority Report and Copyright, 20th Century Fox Filmed Entertainment 2002. As for the disc contents I can mention this is an American promotional release but it's basically just the movie uh, there's no special features and you know usually there aren't any special features on these promotional uh, releases but you know just to mention there's there's no special features uh, and there's no subtitles the movie basically just starts automatically after some uh, legal disclaimers not much else to say about that now moving on to the thing which I got in my mail yesterday which has been oh this has been this has been eluding me for so many years I've only ever seen one other collector uh, who've actually had this this book which I was able to acquire from a, another collector who actually owns a complete set like me uh, although he doesn't anymore because he traded me the book and this is just it's just a notebook uh, you know it doesn't have any any you know, info or stuff like that it's just a notebook uh, but you'll notice that it does have sort of like a watermark featuring the uh, Minority Report pre-crime logo this is basically a watermark which is repeated on every page uh, and I can imagine that you know this is one of the reasons why this is so rarely seen even with this box set. You know most people who own this don't own a complete set. They might have the attaché case which is extremely rare. They might have the tin case which is not as rare but still rare. This exact tin case uh, is also used in a different set which is the uh, Minority Report press kit uh, American version and there you know you don't get the screening disc which features the movie on DVD uh, but instead you get two discs which are CD-ROM discs and they only feature like promotional stuff like trailer and like a small making of clip or something in QuickTime format still pictures and stuff you know it's not a DVD 
so a lot of people you know got this tin by getting the press kit because that exists uh, in more copies I think that's like roughly 1200 copies so most people would have the tin but they might not have the screening disc they might have the you know press kit discs but the people who've actually you know culminated you know getting the tin getting the attaché case getting the screening disc out of all those people I don't know anyone apart from the guy in Germany who got the whole set was the first report on it um, I don't know anyone except from him and from me who actually have the book so probably this is because you know it's a just a notebook and I'm guessing you know when this was sent out they would probably just have used it essentially because it's, it's a notebook you just write in it so that way you know they would probably use it for writing notes <laughs> as you tend to do um, and by that standard you know it would just be kept and thrown away whereas maybe the tin or the attaché case would be sold as a collectible and you know or you would I don't know what people do with these you know apparently you know some people sell them on eBay but even even there it's extremely rare uh, and a lot of times it's you know it has to do uh, with legal issues you know a lot of the times you, you can't really sell screening copies because you know when these are coming out you know when people in the media who who receive these kind of presentations that's then the movie usually hasn't hit theaters so by that standard it's a very sort of uh, awkward legal phase because they can't sell it with the screening copy or whatever because it's not out on DVD so you know they they could be prosecuted and losing their job so yeah it is very hard to find uh, these promotional screening FYC releases sell them without the discs that's always a easy way out so a lot of people end up with incomplete sets just like I did for many many years and um, you know I this is a whole other story but this set I bought this in pieces you know I got the disc from one source the tin from another uh, got the the attaché case from an, a third source got replacement locks <laughs> from a fourth and eventually last I uh, you know I got the book from a fifth source so it took five <laughs> different people uh, to complete this and it took years and it costed you know not as much as you know it would cost to buy this complete which is impossible anyway um, but uh, yeah uh, I bought this you know in total it was a pretty good price even though it's expensive uh, but you know if I sold this today uh, to fellow collectors uh, I would easily make like five times what I have spent in total so it's taken a lot of effort to be able to show this to you uh, one of the cornerstones of my collection hope you like this uh, and if you have any questions I am definitely the guy to go to so yeah leave comments below or whatever thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed it and as usual hope to see you all next time